Happening now at 5 this afternoon, four people were shot at the Independence Center Mall. Police say it was a shootout between two groups of people. People at the mall told us about what they saw moments after those shots rang out. I looked up, I heard like I heard like a scream or two. I saw people running, I saw people taking cover. And I see people running, elderly people running, trying to get out as fast as they can, people closing their stores down. And we have team coverage as we find out what happened at the Independence Center Mall. Reporter Megan Abundas has been talking with people who were at the mall when shots were fired. We're going to hear from Megan in a bit, but first we want to start with reporter Grant Stevens. So Grant, catch us up to speed. What have you learned out there? Yeah, we actually just spoke to police just a couple minutes ago, right before we came to this show. And here's what they told us. They told us that, yeah, this was two groups of people who came to the mall and started firing shots. They said it started with some form of altercation. They're not sure yet exactly what started this, what caused this, just so that it was two groups of people. Police have been able to take in three people into custody, but we're still not sure whether or not those are suspects or witnesses or if police have just taken them in for questioning. Police are still working to figure out how they are related, but they are related in some way. Again, this happened just a couple hours ago. I'd say right around three hours ago when this happened at the Independence Center. We also spoke to some people who were inside the mall when this happened. People who were down in the food court when they started hearing shots ring out above them, rapid fire shots. They described really quick secessions of firing one after the other. They also described the pandemonium that followed. Here's what they said. It was just a really like surreal moment. It was, like, it was definitely like a zero to 100. Cause like I, I was watching YouTube videos. I was watching Matt Wright. And it was like I was laughing, having a good time, and it was just like serious real quick. And then like, like he said, there was kids just like looking around, like confused, like they don't know what's going on. It's like, you can't just leave them. So, you know, we're trying to guide them out. Like, it's a crazy moment, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is not the first time like it happened up here. It's just like, it's the first time it, like I was actually in the building. Yeah. Yeah, he describes that really surreal feeling of the first time you are a part of it. He had heard of shootings in this mall before, and that has happened over the years. But they say it was very, very scary being a part of it and honestly running for their lives because they didn't know where the shooter was. They just heard the shots ringing out. So did everyone and everyone took off for the doors. We'll continue to find updates on this throughout the night. If police are able to identify some of those people they are talking to or if they're able to confirm with us if there will be any arrests or any additional details, we'll make sure to have that in our later shows and of course on our website KSHB.com. Live from the Independence Center, Grant Stevens, KSHB 41 News. Yeah, Grant, you mentioned the history there. We're going to get to that in a second. But you also mentioned what police had to say uh, just a few minutes ago. So we want to give you a, a small sampling of what they shared with us in an impromptu press conference. Take a listen. Right now, kind of what we have is that two groups of people, it appears that they had some kind of interaction right inside the mall and uh, shots were fired. I don't know what the discussion was. I don't know what the interaction was at this point, but those two groups of people uh, you know, met up and that's how they were uh, well, shooting. So two groups of people. We have four people injured, one of them in critical condition. We want to continue our team coverage now with KSHB 41 News reporter Megan Abundance. And Megan, what have you heard from witnesses? No doubt a terrifying situation. Absolutely. We are on the south side of the mall, and I just 10 minutes ago spoke with employees at Dillard's and at Dick's Sporting Goods. They are open for business. They've just closed off their interior mall access entrance. So we've seen people come and go with their shopping bags. Earlier today in the parking lot just south of here, we talked with a man who works inside the mall at a custom t-shirt business who heard it go down. I heard about four gunshots. Maybe, but I didn't know there were gunshots at first. I thought there might have been construction people like slapping two by fours together. Um, but um, one of the customers suspected that there were gunshots. And then um, and then we heard like kind of some people screaming. He said his other co-workers have experienced shootings there previously as well. We did go to the reunification center that's at a nearby car wash and it was empty. We've seen traffic pick up here along this mall road. It appears that things are getting back to normal. In Independence, I'm Megan Abundis, KSHB 41 News.